Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. No idea if I've gotten on camera yet or not. Anyway, it is Sunday, April 28th, 1.33 p.m. I did get my next two Artsy Trio videos filmed this morning. I will edit them and the vlog for last week tomorrow and get everything uploaded and scheduled and whatnot. Um, Bob is in the garage working on my antique secretary desk, which will be going up at some point in the art room in my painting corner. It'll be my watercolor and painting desk. Um, and we will probably film a dedicated video just for that at some point when I'm installing it upstairs and going through things, uh, which I need to do again. I have some golden acrylic paint that stinks. Yeah, that means it's gone off, just FYI. It's, it's really stinky. Um, but to be fair, it's the original cobalt teal, I think is the one that stinks. And I bought it right after I started my YouTube channel. Five million years ago, 2012, I think. Anyway, long time ago. No wonder it stinks. Anyway, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to put my brace back on my hand because although whatever I strained my left wrist doing, probably picking up Junior, um, is feeling much better today. I'm not going to take a chance and I'm going to put this back on and then we're going to um, sit and work on my latest blanket project while we're listening to YouTube because I think that's a great way to spend a Sunday. Well, I think it's a great way to spend every day, but I mean, this is me. All right. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I said last week we were probably going to have some unexpected extra babysitting. This morning was one of those mornings. It is well after lunch. It's 1.33, and I am just now getting to editing all the videos that I have three videos to edit and get uploaded and scheduled to YouTube. So I'm going to do that in the next few hours. That's my focus right now. And in between rendering the videos, I'll be working on my blanket. Um... My daughter's in real estate, FYI. If you live in the Portland, Oregon area and you need a real estate agent, let me know. I'll put her links down below. Um, anyway, she was showing some houses this morning. Husband, of course, is working. So she said, Kit, mom, can you babysit? I said, sure. Um, so I had him for a couple hours this morning. I do think little dude is either teasing, teething or having a growth spurt or both. He's a little bit extra tired and a little bit cranky this morning. I mean, you know, he's a one-year-old. It happens. He was still sweet to have around. So anyway, I got the vlog edited. It's rendering at the moment. Then I have two more to do. Then I can get everything loaded and we're good to go. Yes. I need to be better about doing these things when I do have free time and scheduling my free time appropriately. It's the goal for the next month. If you guys have any tips, let me know. <laughs> I used to have all day free. I could do whatever I want. That's not the case anymore. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm gonna sit and watch a video while this is rendering and I'll Here's be back. Our edited, rendered, and loaded. We are ready to go. They're all scheduled out, yay. So now I'm going to listen to some YouTube stuff while I work on my current blanket project. All right, let's get to it. Mr. is off of work, so we're going to go try to get some steps in since the clouds and rain went away and the sky is kind of blue. It wasn't supposed to rain until tomorrow, but it just really... Don't know. Yeah, it dumped, it dumped really hard. You just don't know. Anyway, it's dry now, so time to walk and get some fresh air. I'll be back. Hey guys, so it is the end of the evening on Tuesday, April 30th, I think, last day of the month. Um, <laughs> does it look like it's been babysitting day? Because <laughs> it was. And as always, that's always a joy. I love spending time with my grandson, but today he's teething and I think having a growth spurt at the same time. So he was less than cheerful. And we not only gave Oma a love bite on her arm, 
um, we head butted her by accident straight into the eyeball. Missed the eye socket bone, we right into the eyeball, you know. <sighs> but it's okay. He was he was so not feeling good. But we still had a good day, fun times, and I finished another blanket. I will put the picture here somewhere. We've decided to keep this one and take one that we were going to keep and put it in the giveaway um, cabinet. And I don't know if I said or not, but we have some neighbors that um, uh, have a... Uh, they have a church, they're dedicated church people. Love that about them. And um, they have a mother and child charity that they do. And um, they I had given their daughters blankets and one of the cousins and they said, could would you be interested in donating more? And I said, sure. So I gave him some more. So my cabinet's nearly empty. Um, so I've got to fill it back up. But I do think that I'm going to, of course, make more blankets. This yarn that I'm winding right now is for some hats. And this is some um, Cascade Aero Duo, is I think what it's called. And it's a wool alpaca nylon blend. Really, really soft. And I'm going to make some hats out of it. So we'll fill up one of the little cubbies in my little giveaway cabinet with hats. Her husband is gonna get first dibs on one or more hats because he wants some hats. He's freezing cold all the time, I'm telling you. So anyway, I'm gonna wind up some of this. I have, I think another skein of this gray and black, and, or Hank, I should say Hank, um, and another Hank of a light gray, dark gray. But I'm gonna start with, one of each of those colors, and then I also had a two-tone brown one that I already did. So we're gonna make some hats. I did have two large rectangular shopping totes that with metal frame on top, and we never use them for groceries. I think I showed one in a clip already, maybe. Anyway, they are going to be project baskets. One is just, I got it free from my husband's work. And at some point he brought it home. I don't know what they were doing, but anyway. Um, we weren't using it for its intended purpose. So it is just full of thrifted and gifted yarn for these giveaway blankets and charity blankets. And um, the pattern is really simple one. I don't even always put an edging on it. Um, Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, the edges are finished, don't get me wrong. I just don't always do an extra stitch around the edge. Um, they're all double crochet. And um, the pattern is available for free over on Patreon, among other things. So if you're interested in supporting the free content, head over there or go buy some of my rubber stamps at Rubber Moon or my Art Foamy stamps. Uh, there's a bunch of really great designs over at Art Foamies on their website. The links for both are down below. Anyway, I am going to put this in the bag of the hat yarn, and I am going to tomorrow, not tonight, because I think it's already like 9 o'clock or after 9 o'clock, um, start making hats. I have no babysitting, I think, until Saturday. I'm off on Thursday. I might go thrifting, we'll see. Um, but tomorrow our friend and house cleaner Letty is coming, thank God. Cause we just can't keep up without her help. Ugh, she's like, she's priceless, I'm telling you. Um, and she goes above and beyond. As a former house cleaner myself, let me, let me tell you, she goes above and beyond. Anyway. Um, so that's happening and I have another bone scan on Friday because it's been two years and I've been taking extra calcium. Let's hope it's making a difference. All right. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm going to go downstairs after I get my hat bag prepped and I will be back. Hey guys, it is... 2.33 o'clock-ish on Wednesday, May 1st. 
Happy May. Um, Letty has gone home. Uh, I think the gardener's here. I'm gonna go check the mail. Started making hats today and I've made two so far. Mister is gonna keep one of them. Um, some of it's leftover acrylic blend yarns or acrylic yarns. Uh, some of it's plush yarns. And we'll probably keep the occasional hat, but a lot of them are gonna get given away. And yeah, anyway, I'll put some pictures here of the ones I've made. All right, I'll be back. Okay, for those that don't know, um, I don't know how you could not know. You could not know because I talk about it all the dang time, but I have anxiety disorder and depression, officially diagnosed. Anyway, I um, one of my triggers is doctor things. And I had a doctor visit a couple weeks ago. And anyway, as I was saying, I gotta go pay the gardener. Um, I had a doctor visit a couple weeks ago and I, we did some routine blood work. It was just a routine visit. I did tell him, you know, post COVID, I'm having some side effects occasionally. They're slowly getting better, but they're taking their sweet dang time, like the fatigue and the dizziness and everything. So I was kind of uh, concerned what would show up or not. Not that I'm not always concerned. It's like I have white coat syndrome, it's a trigger. Anyway, I got the labs today in the mail. I saw the envelope. Mentally freaked out a little bit. Not like I normally would in the old days, pre-medication. I am medicated now. But I still took a deep breath, walked in the house, sat down on the couch, and opened the letter. You know what? It's all good. <laughs> so we're golden. Anyway, I'm going to go pay the gardener now and then sit and maybe make a couple more hats today. I'll be back. Oh, and I guess we're babysitting tomorrow. We weren't going to be, but now we are. And Saturday. Good thing Saturday Hubby's home. He can help me. He's not allowed now to go anywhere. I'll be Junior back. has gone home for the day. I just went and got the mail. Um, so, as I've said, sorry. Amazon delivery truck. Obnoxious noise. Anyway, um, as I've said, I'm making some hats also for giveaway. And... I I think I've come up with a way of making a hat that nobody else is doing. Maybe I'm going to I'm not sure my idea is going to work. So I'm going to try making one first. If it works, I'm going to share the process here on YouTube. There will be a chart that accompanies it and that will be available to patrons and supporters. But I'm going to try it and see, because now it's bugging the crud out of me. All right. The next few weeks are going to be pretty busy, so... <sighs> I'm not sure how much creati creative time I'm going to have, but I'm going to work it in when I can. And we're going to be doing extra probably babysitting because the kids are super busy with various kinds of obligations. And yeah, so... Um, but we'll, we'll make it work somehow. Anyway, I'm going to rearrange some stuff and pour myself some more water and probably go sit upstairs in a quiet corner for a minute. And yeah, I'll be Mom's back. off at his meeting. He has been for a couple hours, to be fair. Um, I'm trying this new hat pattern and this is one that is not super difficult, but you have to keep aware of your stitch count and your row count. And um, I think it's gonna be well worth it, but I did it wrong the first time, as often does. I think when you do a new pattern, you make mistakes. That's with a lot of handicrafts anyway. So I ripped it all out because it was so wonky. I don't even have the guts to show you. It was so bad, you guys. It was so bad. Anyway, I'm doing it over again. And if it works out the way I think it's going to, again, I will share a tutorial 
here on YouTube and I'll have a um, little charted diagram um, for patrons that's available over my Patreon page. Um, it's only a couple bucks a month, so um, I'd appreciate the support anyway for the, for the free content over there. And um, yeah, I am just listening to Juan the Yard Addict, Bag a Day Crochet, Llama Mama Kayla, and a few others um, who mostly do needlework, um, but not all. And uh, yeah, crocheting the evening away. Can't say it's a bad thing. I'll be Good back. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so am I nervous with an upset stomach this morning? Yeah for any good reason no i'm having a bone scan first thing this morning um and i'm not expecting anything that i don't already know i have osteopenia um and i do take extra calcium uh for that but i have white coat syndrome and anxiety disorder so yeah there's that so i'm sitting outside the radiology place i'm a couple minutes early um i spent a uh, good portion of last night and early this morning working on the new hat pattern. It worked out beautifully. I have a chart for patrons and supporters that I think will be very handy in figuring out the pattern. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm gonna make another one and film something uh, as time allows, but yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Of course, I, do I have a backlog of crochet videos? I've promised, kinda. Yeah, so anyway. All right, after this, we're gonna run a few errands, mainly grocery shopping, and yeah, I'll be back. Okay, bone scan is done. It's a pretty painless procedure. The stress comes from waiting for the results. Hopefully, uh, things are at least, uh, there's no change. Hopefully, there's some improvement with the extra medication and stuff, calcium mostly that I'm taking, so. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, on to the next thing, which is the grocery store. Yes, I'm tempted to go to the yarn shop because I am only two miles or so from my favorite uh, little yarn shop uh, for yarn's sake, but I don't really need anything. So, grocery store, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I swear I was in my local Fred Meyer, but I kind of thought I was maybe in Walmart on the east side of San Jose. <laughs> I don't know. There were some interesting people in the Fred Meyer. And all I can say is, one, no, I didn't take any pictures because hello privacy, but two, probably best not to wear your bathrobe and slippers and what appears to be nothing else to the grocery store or anywhere else out of your house. Yeah, that was a thing. That was definitely a thing. Mm -hmm. All right. I might stop at New Seasons on the way home because I am looking for my favorite cauliflower chips, which none of the stores around me seem to have anymore, but I don't know. Anyway, hey guys, I'll be back. It is 2.01 on Saturday, March 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> anyway. Um, what? It's been a babysitting day uh although it's saturday uh son-in-law's out of town um visiting with his parents and so we've been helping daughter out with grandson um so we're getting a late start to the day but weather's also really gross outside it's going to be gross again tomorrow we've decided to go get the grocery shopping over with and get it done now because yeah anyway i'm gonna put a hat on this mess of a hair and yeah, we're gonna go get to it. I'll Hello. be back. It is after 10 o'clock and I almost forgot to close the vlog again. <gasps> uh, it's not the first time. After Junior went home, we decided to go out and run a few errands we were gonna put off in tomorrow and just get them all done. That way tomorrow we can just relax. If we decide to leave the house, it'll be to go do something fun maybe, maybe drive around, maybe go out to dinner. I don't know, but yeah. It's not going to be a great day to go out walking or anything like that because it's going to be rainy again. Welcome to Portland. Anyway, it's been a good week. It's been busy, but it's been good. The next couple of weeks are also going to be busy, hectic, a little crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? 
I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as I can. And there's some, I think, fun stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links. Like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon. And I am getting ready to film uh, details for them, brief for you of how to do this and what this is. That's all I'm going to say. So anyway, I'm also going to do some granny square all stuff. That's all I'm going to say. I'm also, as I time allows, I'm going to do finally do some granny square stuff on camera, explain how I put my two sweaters together, show you the sweaters in question and all of that stuff. So stay tuned. Um, and a lot of the stuff patrons and supporters find out about first written patterns and things like that, which I already have. And I have more coming up. They, they get them for free and they're not available anywhere else. So there you go. Um, I also have stamp designs at, uh, rubber moon, rubber stamps over at rubber moon. And I have, uh, foam stamps over at art foamies. Um, go support both of them. They're really good companies. Anyway, I think that's it. That's my spiel. And I think I'm done. Uh, and tired and ready for bed because we did some babysitting today. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself. Figure out how to squeeze some creativity five minutes here and there into your schedule as you can. Believe me, I understand that there's not a lot of time, um, but I'm sure there's a few minutes every day. Anyway, I'm able to find a little bit of time at night usually, so you can. If I can, you can. All right, that's it for this week, I think. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.